Hello from Qatar. My name is Ilham Alagi. I'm Associate Professor of Strategic Communication at Northwestern University in Qatar. And during these 10 minutes, I will share some insights and observations uh, uh, about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the advertising market. Uh, give me a second, I will share my screen. Okay. So uh, I will talk about the impact of the advertising, uh, uh, the impact of COVID-19 uh, on the short run uh, on the advertising market, specifically in the Middle East and North Africa uh, region. So we've been nine months into the pandemic and it becomes clear now that some media channels and some businesses have been severely hit by the crisis. Uh, while some traditional media channels uh, have uh, uh, suffered a significant drop in terms of advertising dollars, uh, uh, some uh, digital platforms and social platforms have witnessed some growth. Uh, by staying home and working remotely, uh, consumers have changed their media habits and uh, there is a consumption of uh, uh, products that were not as used before the pandemic. Uh, some businesses uh, have disappeared, uh, others uh, have emerged, uh, and some have adapted their business models to the new uh, consumption patterns of consumers. So globally, uh, the advertising spent, as we can see here on the chart uh, uh, to the left, uh, dropped by about 10%. Um, some media channels suffered more than others. Uh, in this global uh, portrait, we can see cinema uh, and out of home the most severely hit, followed by uh, print and radio. Um, in the MENA region, the profile is quite similar, uh, although cinema has never been a big advertising market, so uh, it wasn't, uh, 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 um, it's not as significant in terms of drop. I'll come back to that first. But, but before moving to the MENA region, uh, the impact on the MENA region, I would like to point that different countries have different uh, markets, different structure. Uh, the advertising market is not as uh, vibrant in, in different places, if it's okay to use the word vibrant under such a crisis context. Uh, but the biggest market in the MENA region is Saudi Arabia, followed by the United Arab Emirates and Egypt. So back to the uh, short-term impact of COVID-19 in the region, uh, the biggest media channels that uh, witnessed significant ad drop are print newspaper magazine followed by, uh, by radio. Um, advertising on digital and social has been growing steadily uh, over the, the, the last few years. A, the digital and social also have witnessed growth uh, during uh, uh, the pandemic. And it's for the first time that the advertising spent on digital and social uh, uh, is higher than the advertising spent on television. So television has been the dominant uh, 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 channel uh, you know in in the region so um the, the market in the region has been also uh, subject to different crises uh, going, starting from 2011, the Arab uprisings through the war in Yemen and Syria, and then a couple of years ago, the Qatar blockade uh, by Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain and Egypt, and more recently the Beirut port, uh, uh, port blast. All of these have contributed to the crisis, to the repetitive crisis uh, across the region. And, and the pandemic, of course, adds to, 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 this, difficult, uh, uh, to this difficult situation. Uh, uh, so I wanna go back here to the advertising spent on digital and social uh, that has been growing. And 70% of the revenues on digital and social go to Google and Facebook. And here I want to point that all of these 70% uh, 
are sent out of the region and are not reallocated uh, 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 in the region. So the growth in digital is, uh, is driven by the consumption, uh, the media consumption patterns, uh, mainly of the youth, the biggest group of population uh, across the region, uh, particularly the Gen Z and the millennials, uh, that they have adopted online streaming, online gaming, music streaming, video streaming, and so on. So, and with this new consumption, there is a new need of uh, 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 storytelling, of content, of production of Arabic content that is emerging as an opportunity of these uh, uh, changing media habits. So um, what are the different opportunities here that we can see uh, post pandemic? I would say they are of two orders. First of all, we have geopolitics, oppor you know, opportunities driven by changes in, under geopolitics and under the pandemic. Uh, in the first category, I want to mention a possible boost or an expected boost uh, in advertising dollars, more specifically in the UAE that will expand across the region uh, due to the naturalization of the relation between Israel and Dubai. Uh, the end of the Qatar blockade, uh, possibly also, uh, uh, and hopefully soon enough, uh, more liberalization of the Saudi market uh, also presents itself as an opportunity of growth for the advertising market and, of course, the end of, pan uh, the, end of the pandemic, hopefully soon enough. Um, I mentioned earlier the uh, change of uh, uh, media habits and media consumption patterns, uh, specifically among the youth. Uh, the, 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 the streaming services uh, will be in need of more Arabic content and Netflix kind of set the standards here. The industry is talking about an improvement of the quality of the Arabic content for the streaming platforms. And around these uh, products will emerge advertising opportunities, uh, branded content, for instance, or we just witnessed a deal between Facebook Watch and NBC, the biggest uh, broadcaster, Pan-Arabic pro broadcasters in the region. Also, they, are, uh, they have a, a streaming platform, Shared, which is really uh, uh, has uh, a significant basis of audience. Uh, so the deal, you know, as you can see here, for 20,000 20, content pieces to be watched on Facebook Watch. Uh, Facebook across the region has the highest penetration rate. So uh, deals like on Facebook Watch or maybe IGTV and all of these new streaming uh, uh, services will definitely bring in new opportunities for the market. Uh, also, podcasting have significantly uh, grew uh, under pandemic, as I mentioned earlier, I think uh, uh, specifically among women across the region. So with the, again, with the uh, podcasting opportunities, we will see emerging uh, uh, other advertising uh, um, expenses. To finish, I would like to point to uh, also uh, the, the information driven um, uh, data that will impact advertising placement, but also the targeting. So we have a lot more information about the consumers uh, since they are adopting uh, social and digital and uh, the um, strategies will be informed by these data, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and uh, the whole uh, uh, accessible data now that can be used in terms of strategy to to improve targeting, uh, uh, it, it will be significant in, in uh, the near future in the region. Uh, also, I want to point to growing digital extension. So I mentioned earlier uh, some uh, newspapers we have here, one a newspaper in Qatar that shut down a few months after the pandemic, and that we will see uh, 
extensions of such businesses or media that will be moving online and along with those will come some new advertising opportunities. Uh, niche businesses, but also an ongoing uh, development of platforms that use influencer uh, uh, marketing for their businesses and we'll see a continuing uh, model for uh, the influencers as well. So this is a snapshot, a, a brief overview of what has been happening uh, in the region. Thank you for listening and feel free to reach out. This is my email. Uh, thanks again. Bye-bye.